Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about how to become rich. This is not the, the quick rich scheme and all. This is really hard work. So before sharing those uh, 12 tips, I am going to just share a few books that you need to read in your free time. So Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, an awesome book. This is the first book you should start reading. It's really a great book. Then Total Money Makeover by Dave Romsey. He talks about the baby steps, emergency fund, and The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley. This is a great book. This talks about uh, frugal tips and how the millionaire, um, the habits of the millionaire, start over finish rich. David Back really, really talks a lot of tips about how to become rich. And 21 Secrets of Self-Made Millionaires, Brian Tracy. Uh, I would say he he has changed my life, and uh, his books has changed my life. Thanks, re really thanks, Brent Tracy. I want to thank here. This book is, re book is really great. The richest man in Babylon, a old book, but a lot of wisdom available in this book. Job by George Clason. So these are the six books I would recommend. There are a lot of other books, but to start off, you can start with these six books whenever you get free time. Go to the nearby store to buy these books and. In your free time start reading so these books will change your financial status sure for sure and I wish to give you some 12 tips which will change your life and you can become financially independent you have to spend less than you earn that's a very important point for example if you uh, earn some five thousand dollars per month you should try to spend less than you earn change the lifestyle whatever you want to do do to achieve this first point spend less than you earn long term perspective I think always in long term perspective what will happen after 20 years 40 years so uh, all the decisions should be made based on this long term perspective delay gratification say you might have a desire to buy something immediately but but delay that delay that the more you delay you will have a clear d decisions to take so practice frugal living learn more about frugal living uh, it's not about conjus, it's not stringy, it's about frugal. Frugal is like something different. Self-discipline and Parkinson law. You should practice self-discipline. Parkinson law in the sense whenever your high changes, your the payment changes, say you got $500 extra per every every month, you should not change your lifestyle based on your pay rise that's called Parkinson's law so don't do that even if you get bonus or hike or whatever it is just have the same lifestyle until you become financial independent have long term goals short term goals stick to that goals keep on checking your goals always so that your subconscious mind will keep on uh, telling you and you are giving some it will give you some ideas and you are stick to those goals differentiate between need want desire and luxury always whenever you buy something or you are thinking about to buy so always think al always differentiate need want desire and luxury build assets that assets that put money in your pocket so this statement is very important asset means it should put money in your pocket never ever don't lose money so before investing on anything just clarify get all the information don't simply go and invest I am responsible for my financial status ninth statement is very very important I am responsible for my financial status so keep telling that because don't blame government the tax or God or your neighbor your colleagues your company no you are responsible for your financial status uh, debt free six months emergency fund you should have always and after that invest the surplus amount properly 11th one is very important create value so all these 10 values 10 uh, points if you follow 11th is very important create value to the society so think always how can I create a value to the society so the more you create value to the society and to more people you will be you will become rich eventually the sense creating value in the sense it might be solving a problem for example if you are a potter 
you are making parts and you are selling to many people and try to solve some of the problems if you are a milk seller try to sell more milk to your society if you are a stationery if you are a printer print try to print more uh, papers and if you are a say technician try to solve more problems in your society so create value avoid more stuff 12th point is very important i have heard from many people saying that uh, when when i was shifting to a uh, new house i saw more stuff which is which i don't need at all so think thousand times before you buy anything okay whether you need it or not so avoid more stuff that's where your your small money will go in and you don't even know that it's not necessary so hope these 12 points are useful thank you and all the best for your future thank you